Hi, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I converted this John Siskovich stress-free chicken tractor plan from a chicken tractor to pull meat chickens to an egg mobile for all of our egg layers producing eggs for our family. using staples to fasten the poultry netting on. I ended up buying a staple gun. Before I would just use a regular hammer, <laughs> but I wised up on my third try.
Okay, so this chicken coop was not initially designed for egg layers. Uh, only uh, it was designed for raising meat birds. The plans do not have nesting boxes. I'm gonna add two right here and right here. The reason why I don't add the nesting boxes in the back is because it's a little bit exposed to the elements up there and then, you know, it still would probably get rain. And so I just don't want even a little bit of rain, but I just don't want uh, the nesting boxes to get wet. Um, so that's why I'm gonna move them on the sides here. This is basically a shelf bracket. The angle cut here is a 45 degree angle. And for this one, I actually rounded off the corners uh, with my router and just to make it a little bit more rounder and hopefully a little bit more comfortable for when they grab onto it with their feet. Now, since this is going to be where their nesting boxes are sitting, I added this little platform here. That's just so something that they could jump onto and then get to their nesting box. Because in my previous chicken tractor that they're using now, um, I noticed this is what they do. They'll jump onto here and then they'll go to the nesting box. Uh, so I think it was important that I still kept with this. All right, let me show you guys what we did here on this new Eggmobile that I made. Well, this style of chicken tractor is um, from John Siskovich. I did not make up these plans. I'll leave a link to where the plans are available down in the show notes. We use these chicken tractors for our meat birds. Since we like this design so much, let's convert one into an Eggmobile for our egg layers. This new chicken coop is smaller. This is about six feet long by five feet wide, which it made it a little bit lighter. I used the white uh, corrugated plastic with the white tarp. I also added some plastic on partially on the uh, sidewalls here, just to give them a little bit more shelter from the, uh, the elements because they are going to live in here full time. They've been in this setup for three years and it's, it seems to be okay it seems to be working the reason why I made it smaller is because it, it doesn't need necessarily needed to be this long and we really like this design and I figured okay this is what's been working for us so why change it a couple of things that I changed differently are the rope that you pull it with I added uh, like a clip a clip on it so you could unclip it if you wanted to and so you could clip it back on. I made it so you could unclip it. After you're not pulling it, you unclip it. And then you could wrap it around the door and then you could clip it back on it. And then that holds the door in place so it won't shut in the wind. I've noticed with the rope here on the original design, it gets poopy. <laughs> because it's just laying here on the ground. 
And so we're stepping on it, chickens are pooping on it, it gets muddy, it gets gross. And another thing I did is I cut the two by four here in an angle. It prevents it from not dragging on the floor as much, you know, and it grabs the, the, the grass. Uh, so I just kind of made an angle on it and that should help it from dragging. But yeah, uh, this is our egg mobile. <laughs> and uh, I'm happy to show you how I built these. And again, these are not my plans. I will leave a link down in the show notes where you can purchase these plans. Uh, something that has been working for us here on our small homestead. And I figure, uh, let's keep rolling with it, you know? Why change what works? But I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Jason from Sow the Land. And we'll see you guys next time.